In this video, we're going to talk about registration and protection for our e-learning course. Now, we've already done the general area and the instructor area, so we're going to open up the registration and protection area. And this is where you can set it up where they have to register for the e-learning platform or they can get in without registration. So in this first question, it says require registration. And when you click the down arrow, it gives you three choices. You can choose to not require registration so they can view the content without registering, or you can require registration so they won't be able to see anything except the description unless they register, or you can actually set it up so that only some lessons require registration. I'm going to go ahead and set this to registration required to review content. And right here, we have the option to close registration. Now, if registration is closed or disabled, then no new users can sign up, but you can still actually sell your course through the checkout. If they purchase your course through the super checkout, then it will register them, but they will not be able to register the other way by just clicking register and registering a new account. If you close registration, the only way that they can register is if they go through the super checkout to register. So you can choose to close registration if you want to by clicking this on, or you can keep registration open by clicking it off. The next big thing is the custom registration URL. Now, this is if you're selling your course through the super checkout system. And if you are, then you just get the URL of the page where you're selling the course and go ahead and add that custom URL right here. The next item is the protection settings. Now this is an area that you want to fill out if you're going to sell your course through the super checkout and your course is going to be embedded or added into a restricted area as an iframe. So you'll fill this field in to allow a specific domain to open up the course. So that way you can sell it through the super checkout, offer it in a membership area, and, uh, and you can attach the domain to it to make sure that it only opens if it's associated with that domain. Now, if you don't want to associate it with a very specific domain, then you can actually just leave that blank and not fill it in. So that is the registration and protection area. I'll see you in the next video.